Hey everyone, so today we are going to see one of the very nice results that involves eigenvalues and eigenvectors which will help you to solve the problems of such kind. Such kind as in what? Whenever you have a power of a matrix and if they ask you what are the eigenvalues and eigenvectors then question is how to tackle that problem. Obviously it's not feasible to take this power 2021 times manually. Even if you go by software it will take a lot of time. So question is what is the trick to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for power of a matrix. So I will come to both of these examples in a while but before that let's try to see the proof or the result that we are going to use it. So suppose if you have a matrix square matrix of order n and suppose lambda is the eigenvalue for the matrix A and v bar b is corresponding eigenvector that means what a v equal to lambda v. Then when you take the power of any matrix then we have a raised to n v bar is lambda raised to n v bar that means what whenever you take power of a matrix your eigenvectors remains the same but the eigenvalue gets multiplied by the same power okay so whenever you take power of a matrix your eigenvectors remains the same whereas eigenvalue will get increased or get multiplied by that power okay so whenever you have a statement which you want to prove and that involves natural number which is indexed by natural number then we prove that statement using induction that is one of the best tool to prove a statement which involves natural number okay so we want to prove it so what to do is let p of n be the statement what is your statement let the statement be a raised to n v bar equal to lambda raised to n v bar so what do we do we first prove the base step so what is the base step for n equal to 1 so is your n equal to 1 true yes so your a v is equal to lambda v this is already given to you so therefore this is true that means what your p of 1 when you are replacing your n by 1 your p of 1 is true why your p of 1 is true because a v equal to lambda v is given to you okay now let's go one step next what is the second step you assume what do you assume your hypothesis so what is your induction hypothesis your induction hypothesis is your p of k is true that means what your a raised to k v bar is equal to lambda raised to k v bar and now what you want to prove you want to prove that your p of k plus 1 is true that means what you when you take k plus 1 power of a times v bar it is nothing but lambda raised to k plus 1 into v bar so that's what we want to prove okay now the proof is very easy it's a one line proof so what is given to us we are assuming or instead of that let's start with the left hand side okay so your a raised to k plus 1 of v is nothing but a into a raised to k v bar so i am writing a raised to k plus 1 as a into a raised to k but by your hypothesis what is a raised to k v it is lambda raised to k v bar but lambda raised to k is a number so it will come outside it's a scalar right but again what is your a v bar it is given that this is lambda into v bar so this is lambda raised to k plus 1 v bar so therefore what therefore your p of k plus 1 is true therefore by induction your p of n is also true okay so keep this in mind whenever your lambda and v are the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors for a matrix a then you take any power of a natural power then your eigenvectors remains the same whereas eigenvalues will get multiplied by that power okay now let's come back to those examples so the matrix was 1 2 3 minus 4 raised to square bracket pi now what do you mean by square bracket if you recall this represents the greatest integer function greatest integer function that means all those is the greatest integer so like this so it's the greatest integer which is which is less equal x so if i take 1.9 what is the greatest integer less equal 1.9 1 if i take greatest integer of pi what is pi 3.14 so what is greatest integer which is less equal pi 3 okay so here if i write this raised to pi it doesn't make sense because the theorem was for we proved it for natural number okay so therefore i wrote a square bracket so this this square bracket is for the rectangular one 
this means a different it is nothing but the greatest integer function so ultimately what i want to find is this raised to 3 so i want to find the eigen values and eigen vectors for this matrix so whenever you have such a thing you ignore the power you find the eigen values and eigen vector for this matrix so how do you find the eigen values you take determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 so 1 minus lambda 2 3 minus 4 minus lambda equal to 0 okay so when you multiply this you have 1 minus lambda into 4 plus lambda if i take out minus outside and minus 6 so this plus 6 equal to 0 minus 10 and minus 10 i'm just cancelling them out now when you solve this you have lambda square plus 3 lambda minus 10 I hope I am correct. You can just check my calculation. And this implies what? Your lambda plus 5 into lambda minus 2 equal to 0. So lambda is minus 5 and 2. You can find the eigenvector as well. But I know that eigenvectors remains the same. Okay. So if I call this matrix as A, then what do we get? We get that the eigenvalues of A, so your E values. E values of A are minus 5 and 2. So what will be eigen values of A cube? It will be minus 5 cube which is minus 125 comma 2 cube which is it. And eigen vectors for this two are same as whatever you will find for minus 5 and 2. So you find the eigen vectors for this. The same will be remained for A cube as well. Okay. So eigen vectors remains the same. Eigen values gets multiplied by some power. By this power okay and what was the next example example was 2 raised to 20 2 0 2 1 so what are the eigenvalues for this matrix now so eigenvalues eigenvalues for a raised to 2 0 2 1 are nothing but minus 5 raised to 2 0 2 1 and 2 raised to 2 0 2 1 so these are what your eigenvalues are and eigenvectors remains the same so whenever you have a question to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors for a power ignore the power find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for that matrix then as we saw eigenvectors remains the same and eigenvalues will have that power okay now let me give you one homework problem okay so i'm giving you a very simple matrix so one 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 so rank one matrix and you have to tell me what are the eigenvalues for this race to say 2019 if i take the power of 201 and of this matrix you have to tell me what are the eigenvalues so make sure you comment your answer and if you have any doubt or if you have any other example of this type in which you are having doubt then you can ask me that as well in the comment section and if you understood and liked this lecture then do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you